Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spiritual Generation 11. Look, before I get this video started, I just want to tell you guys I very much appreciate all of you who are subscribed to me and who continue to watch my videos. It really does mean something. Because when I have more people viewing my videos, liking it, or sharing it, then the message can get further out there, you know? That's one of the main reasons I created this channel, to help myself and help others, okay? So, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what's going to happen as soon as these evil motherfucking demon entities, creatures, realize that they're going to lose. The chosen ones will win, we are winning, we always going to win. The good always comes out on top. Lately, a lot of us YouTubers have been exposing a lot of the bullshit that's been going on, you know? And really reaching out to the masses, telling them to go within, okay? And to meditate and to take care of themselves, physically and spiritually, you know? Okay, look. Now, they mentioned the decision should be happening around 11, 11 a.m. on December 21st. Could be a little bit sooner, could be a little bit after, but we're going to keep that date in mind, okay? And the Pleiadians are going to be helping us with this shift, okay? And they're a form of star seeds, okay? So, what I recently heard from people who channeled them, um, that they're around the skies right now, in spaceships. Um, there's UFOs and whatnot hanging around the sun and stuff, and they've been trying to block that shit out, first of all, you know? And let me tell you, the first thing that they're going to do soon is the other beings start to come down here, okay? They're going to claim demon, evil, satanic, when in reality, the people who are saying all that shit's evil are the evil ones, okay? They're going to make the chosen ones look like the evil, demonic people, when in reality, we're here to help, period. I'm an indigo star seed. If you guys don't know, now you know. And me and my indigos, we've been playing our part. We've been doing our work, okay? And I want to give a shout out to all of my indigos. I got a few of my indigos watching my video right now. I love you. You been on your shit? You been on your shit? Don't be lying. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, peace and love to all of y'all, you know? But still, be aware of these people. You know, the government in general, I'm going to speak on the government, they've been lying to us since a government started. And I've said that multiple times, yo. And it's crazy how some people are easily manipulated into believing the fucking bullshit that these people are telling us. Half these people inside these damn world leaders are not even fucking human, yo. These motherfuckers are reptilian shapeshifters, evil as shit. A lot of these people are fucking demons in human bodies, okay? Period. Like, just look at their eyes. You should be able to tell that shit, yo. Something ain't right, you know? And then they got this whole election shit going on too, y'all. Don't vote. Yo, vote ain't gonna count. Point blank, period. You think that they really give a fuck what we gotta say? The higher elites already chose the next president, and you better believe that. I see a lot of other YouTubers mentioning that too. It's true. They've been chosen the next president, and it's been that way forever. United States of America was built off Masons, okay? Freemasons and slave owners. All those motherfuckers on the dollar bill are all slave owners, okay? They evil than a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we gotta look at they bitch ass every single time we run up in bands, you know what I'm saying? But that don't make me or break me, you know? Unfortunately, we live in a society that's ruled by money. If it was up to me, we would live in a cashless, no currency type of society. Therefore, we can take care of each other. You know, people who can grow plants, uh, food and all that, would share it, you know? It'd be peace, you know? We wouldn't have no need for currency if there was world peace. And unfortunately, it's going to take some time for that to happen. And as an indigo, I know that it may not happen within my lifetime. But the whole point of us being spiritual leaders and teachers is to get to the youth. That's the main thing I want to do. I want to get to the youth so, therefore, they'll learn wisdom, knowledge, and then they'll teach their kids that, and then their kids will teach their kids, and so on, you know? Because when our time is up here, all of us chosen ones who are alive right now, it's up, you know, and shit. You can't come soon enough, but shit. You know, I'm ready for whatever happens. Y'all, stay ready for war, okay? They're going to try to force these vaccines on us, too. 
Don't get that shit. If you look, don't get that damn vaccine, yo. If you get that damn vaccine, you might as well knock on hell's door and be like, hello, um, can you suck my blood from my body and put the mark of the beast in me? You might as well do that. Don't get that damn vaccine, y'all. I wish some motherfucker would come knocking on my door talking about a vaccine, talking about some. Um, sign this form right here. Um, you need to get the vaccine or else. Or else what? You got me fucked up. I'm going to die behind this shit. Look, if some of y'all know me, y'all know I got a few screws loose, spiritual conscience or whatever. But you come to my spot with that fuck shit, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to protect me and mine, first of all. Don't fuck with me and don't fuck with my family. And don't fuck with my indigos and my chosen ones, period. You know, I'm going to stand up for what's right, y'all. And I know you guys are going to stand up for what's right, too. You know? Um, shit, what else? Yeah, don't let them fool you like I mentioned. That's the first thing that they're going to do. You know how many times I've been called devil worshiper, demonic person, Satan, whatever. Because of the knowledge that I know. My own freaking sister had thought that me and my other woke cousin were evil and we didn't believe in God. Little do they know that they're Christians and they believe in all their religious bullshit. They're probably further away from God than anybody, okay? Fuck the church house. You know, people be like, oh, I'm going to go to church. And then uh, that's going to make me a good person. Motherfucker, them demons be sitting right there in the church house with some low vibrational ass vibes and their low vibrational ass people. And that preacher who fucks little kids and shit, yo. She's not right, yo. But you know what? We are on the rise. Chosen ones are always going to come out on top. We won't settle for less, you know. We've been chosen for a reason. The ancestors chose us. And which also sadly separates us from family members. A lot of us get disowned, you know? But I'm gonna tell you one thing, I don't disown you. And I know you don't disown me. Because all the stuff that we've been talking about will come to light. What's been in the darkness will come to light, y'all. You know? So I'm ready for this shit, yo. I'm ready for this decision, I'm ready for this conscious shit. I'm ready for all that shit, yo. And y'all better be ready for war. Because the time is now. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, take care of yourselves, love yourself, spread love to others, keep those vibrations high, and I'll check back with you, check back in with you guys later. Peace, love, namaste.